This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Wednesday. I'm, I, I forget the days of the week. Uh, now I'm just, it's all one big blur. Did, did you notice after COVID it was just one big blur? Okay. Anyway, welcome to Blur's Day. And, uh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, how, how was my weekend? Eh, you know, just my weekend. Nothing much. We had a guest here, which, which what happens when I have a guest here? She's in the other is we put him in the guest room. When we put him in the guest room, then I can't use it to watch my TV shows in, and I have to go sit in the living room and watch it. And I don't like watching it in the living room because my TV set is up on a wall like this. So, uh, all the problems I have, those are the major problems I have. Most people should have such problems. Anyway, I think it's time for me to uh, say hello to uh, somebody that we say hello to every week at this time on, on Wednesdays. And um, in spite of our better nature, oh, hold on a second. I just got to do something here. I got to put his name up. There we go. So that when we go to him, see, uh, he, he has his name there. Okay, wait a minute. Let me get rid of somebody up here. There we go. Hello, hello there at the Palace of Versailles, uh, Phil yeah. Meyer. Well, I'm I'm in the Hall of Mirrors, and uh, you know I figured since you have such an elegant living room, mm. I would uh, I'd sit in an elegant room as well. We gotta admit this is a nice living room. Oh yeah. You know, um, uh, I mean the place is it, it's kind of a little shabby because it's old. You know, kind of like us. Yes, I'm kind of shabby too. Yep, yeah. absolutely. So, how you doing there, Phil? Well, I'm I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm feeling a little under the weather today. I I don't know if that's uh, COVID or uh, you know maybe I just uh, got a sniffle. You know, yeah. but if you got a sniffle, they just take you out and shoot you. Oh, wait a minute, that's China. That's China. Uh, they take you out and shoot you yeah. if you have a sniffle. Yeah. Hey, I, uh, you know, uh, you got anything you want to talk about first before we uh, talk about other not stuff? Not really. I mean, there's not a hell of a lot, I think, to talk about, is there? Well, uh, I'm, you know... I mean, I Republicans, are acting, uh, Republicans are acting like Republicans, and, and Democrats are acting like Democrats, and we're all fucked. Well, the, the yeah. Democrats or the blue cities and blue states are starting to say that they're going to lift the uh, mandates already i went to a restaurant uh, uh night before last mm -hmm. and they this restaurant was asking for your covid vaccination id or card mm -hmm. every time you went in there of course they never yeah. remembered who i was i guess yeah. i don't yeah. tip big enough yeah but uh uh the uh you know 25 is not good enough they you know you got to tip 100 percent to mm -hmm. have them remember you so now they're not asking for the COVID card anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, uh, the Bay Area, mm -hmm. they said, well, they'll lift the mandates, but they will lift them when we're 80% vaccinated. Contra Costa County is 79.9% vaccinated. Okay, so they're not going to lift. Really? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, they say that it's got to be 75 cases a day. Uh, and there were 323 uh, in this county. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I gather they're going to do their best to c keep the mandates in place. Uh, mm. But I, uh, talking about mandates, the Canadians are getting very upset. Now, I, I had mentioned that trucker strike a couple of weeks ago, and you said, what, is there six truckers? Well, there's seven or eight now. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're they're blocking the roads, uh, but they're they're claiming this is for freedom. I, I'm really surprised the Canadians 
you know, are, are looking for freedom, but they're, they're rioting. One Canadian yelled, do you need any gasoline? And he raised his voice. Well, that sparked a riot because they felt that he was being aggressive. Uh, and then he, he said, hi, how you doing? And he said it loud because the guy was across the street. Mm -hmm. Spark, the Canadian government says it's a riot. And uh, Well, that's uh, your way of interpreting it. What, that it's a riot? Yeah, that's your way of interpreting how the government is responding up there. Well, all the guy said was, hey, how you doing? But he was yelling across the street, and, Canadian, and, and he was trying to apologize. Okay, but, but there, you know, uh, let's be honest, okay? Um, there are always, uh, this, you know, people mistaking what people are doing in situations like that. The government is no different, okay? So maybe oh, he was, was just, maybe he just was saying hi to his friend across the street. I, I was but kidding. Things, you know, oh, oh. You know it's, it's saying hi is a riot in, in Canada, you know. <laughs> so, but I guess my joke had to be explained. Well, what you're doing is you're claiming that something exists that didn't exist, and now people are going to believe that that exists. Who are you, oh, Joe Rogan? Only, only your gullible listeners are going to believe that a riot was caused because it's a guy Phil, said, hey, it's I get Phil the Rogan Meyer. <laughs> well, you know, hey, they're they're trying to silence Rogan, and I guess it's not working. Well, they're not trying to silence they Rogan. They want him kicked off of Spotify. They want to take. They want him to uh, act responsibly, well, and to also also to not use the N word. Well, he apologized, well, and I guess yeah, and then he had to apologize again, and then well, how do we know he, he's not going to do it again? And okay. Spotify stands behind him. Uh, but, you know, screw Spotify. Have you ever seen people uh, 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 get misquoted because they chop up uh, the audio of what they you, said? You know what I, you know what bothers me? Let me tell you what bothers me, Phil. Right. And it bothers me about you in this situation and everybody where Rogan is, is concerned. Uh, when I was in radio, on radio stations, which were looked over by the FCC... And, and owned by major corporations. If I did something like that, they just fire me. And you wouldn't be around saying, oh, stand up for Alex's freedom of speech. No, no. But Joe Rogan does it on something like the internet that isn't policed by anybody, and somehow he doesn't have to answer for what he does. Well, Trump wanted, uh, I think it was called Section 260 or uh, where uh, he wanted the internet to be uh, uh, responsible for what they say and what they, uh, what goes out over their airwaves, mm -hmm. uh, uh, just like a radio station or a newspaper or anything else, and uh, uh, they didn't want to do that. So uh, the internet has free reign to do. As yes, they yes, they do. But we also have free reign as a public to complain, and also to, for instance, if we subscribe to Spotify to withdraw our subscription, and uh, if we have our music on Spotify to refuse to have our music on Spotify any longer, and uh, it didn't. It went beyond just that whole thing about uh, uh, COVID, which I yeah. think is a is a public health issue okay it has to do with him also using the n-word and okay. and uh, being just not being a responsible broadcaster shall oh, we let say let me ask you this what some people uh i i don't listen to spotify i don't subscribe to spotify mm -hmm. and i didn't even listen to i didn't listen to joe rogan this morning i happened to have heard a youtube that was talking about this Joe Rogan situation. Mm -hmm. So I'm not a fan, although I, you know, when I saw his, uh, his excerpts on us uh, on uh, YouTube, I didn't think he was so bad. Now, uh, but don't you think, don't you think, let me say something first, Phil, don't you think I'd be the first one to defend Joe Rogan because I've been in this kind of position occasionally yes. in broadcasting, but I yes. don't defend him. Because the thing he's doing is the one thing that I would have never done, even in my worst days of being on radio. I would have what? never put the public in danger. Okay, uh, but if if he was putting the public in danger, 
it's okay for uh, blue cities and blue states to... No, 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 uh, no, no, forget that. Uh, don't even go there because you're trying to... I, 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 but they're I, doing the same no, thing. No, what you're doing is you're, you're, you're meet, you know, you're, you're uh, uh, saying because this exists, uh, he shouldn't well, be able to do that. No, we're talking about Joe Rogan and what he did. Okay. And what he let did me, was endanger me, the public welfare. Okay, before we get to that, let me talk about this N-word stuff. From what I was led to believe from the what I watched. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you know, I didn't hear it firsthand, but it's worth discussing. Well, if you I didn't hear it firsthand, how can you talk about it with any authority? I'm, I'm discussing. I'm not defending. Mm -hmm. uh, so what, what uh, they said what, on this N-word stuff was that he was... Uh, these were snippets of programs that were compiled over a 10-year period. Number two, these uh, snippets were from uh, talks that he was having saying that the N-word is being used uh, in, and it's, it's not an equitable thing and either people should not use it at all or if they're going to use it, they shouldn't crucify anyone that uses it that doesn't... Uh, um, uh, have the melanin in their skin. So, you know, do you I believe I, that. Do you believe that to be true, Phil? I don't have proof one way or another. No, no, no. Do, do you believe that that theory that uh, you either you shouldn't use it mm -hmm. uh, because if it's OK for you, why isn't it OK for me? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you an answer, but go ahead. Yeah. No, I, I don't think they should use it. And I'll tell you why. Because I don't Who want. Who shouldn't use it? Who shouldn't use uh, it? Anyone uh, uh, in in the black in people shouldn't use it. No, I don't think they should. Uh, 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 the, uh, the, hey, no, wait a minute. Okay, these are the very people that this word has been used against for years as a negative form of reproach. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, they have disempowered it, and they have every right to disempower it. They have disempowered it by using it like they use it. In other words, no, it's not okay for a white guy to say it because we have no right to disempower the word. They do. Uh, I I don't think the word needs to be disempowered. The if word definitely if, needs to be disempowered. If, if people don't use it. If 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 it's it's the same thing as saying kike or uh, uh, or cunt. Uh, you know, as a Jew, have you called another a Jew a kike? I think that would be uh, very demeaning, and I wouldn't uh, do I've, it. I've done it. You know, uh, kidding around between two Jews, and because it was us, it didn't matter. You know, if if you're going to use it, then use it. Don't crucify someone else for using it. No, I'll it's, crucify it's someone not... else for using it because it's my word. It's the word that describes me, and so therefore no, it, I get to use it if I want to, it, it and I get to you. I get to disempower the word if okay. I so desire. So therefore, the Nazi down the street he should be able to use it too. You, you know, it, it, it's it, no, if you he shouldn't be allowed to use it because he's using it in hate. Do you think one black person uses that word, and when describing another black person, out of hate? Well, it has a lot well, of. Well, wait a minute, out of hate. Sometimes. No, I don't think so. They're not uh, doing it out it, of hate, but the white man is. It's kind of like the, the word man, shalom. It means hello, peace, goodbye, no, no, has, and, has, and schwarze. has nothing to do with shalom. Uh, no, but you know how shalom has a lot of different meanings. Uh, now, the, the N-word can be in a, a meaning of endearment. It hmm. could be also uh, a, a negative thing that is like calling a woman a bitch. Uh, which they do on a regular basis in their music, you know, rap music, you know, kill the cops, uh, beat the bitch, you know, uh, these, these are, is all is all black. Does all black music do that? No. Oh, OK, Harry well, Fonte then why do, why do you why do you even bring it up? It's, a, it's, well, it's because a, it's rap music. It's a rare. Well, rap music. Now, let's define what rap. Well, I'm trying to talk to you about rap music I, to define rap yeah, music. Hey, I, I can rap. Rap, mu uh, rap, rap music is folk music, okay? And what it does is it tells stories. And it tells stories about certain people who may be on the fringes of society and speaking in their speak in order to tell their story, okay? 
So a lot of times those things about kill the police and so on and so forth is a very real thing that goes on and they're reporting it in song. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. But okay. uh, I, I don't think that, uh, that people in public mm -hmm. should speak, uh, uh, whether it's the N-word or the K-word or the C-word, uh, I, you know, Look, I, I just think that it's I a, am, uneducated uh, people that, I, I that talk like I'm that. I'm a person who believes that words uh, uh, are, uh, uh, word is not important. Words, uh, you know, are not, uh, I, I just ne have always wondered why we couldn't say fuck and shit and piss and things like that on radio because after all, they're only words. And in but the case, wait a minute, in the case of the N-word, they're only words until they're used to hurt. Well, okay. you know, you're, you're a wordsmith. That's that's what you do for a living. And in, in many ways, so am I. In sales, I try to pick the words that I could use less words and and be more powerful in the descriptions that I'm using. Mm -hmm. And uh, but to to use uh, derogatory terms sort mm -hmm. of negates everything that you're saying. Uh, it it uh, it sort of disqualifies you from uh, from from what you're saying, and it's almost mm -hmm. like uh, rape. Rape is a uh, is an effort by someone to overpower other people. You know, it, it's to. Uh, I, and I have no idea using, how you're equating rape with this. Well, by using the N word, uh, what uh, many are trying to do is use it as a overpowering technique. Uh, to uh, to get their point across, and I, I just I don't see it. I don't think that uh, civilized people should uh, to, should use that kind of language. Hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I never knew but, you'd be such a sensitive guy. Except in Canada, when they when they say I'm sorry very loudly, and the government gets upset. You know, this is uh, uh, and I guess also. There, uh, what, what's that? GoFundMe, GoFundMe got ten million dollars to support these truckers to give them uh, food and water and gasoline and all the things they need to continue their strike. And GoFundMe said, "Well, we're, originally they said we're not going to give it to them because we don't support that. We're going to give it to other charities." And now uh, there was a big uprising, and they're giving it back. To well, the I mean, the, it, well, the point is that uh, GoFundMe should have never taken the GoFundMe for that if they well, weren't going to turn over the money to the people. Uh, and, and they can't, and as an afterthought, go, well, we don't believe in this cause, so we're turning over the money to something else. They're wrong in doing that. Well, you know, and you're right. Uh, you remember when uh, your uh, your second wife passed away, and I tried to start a GoFundMe. By the way, in case people just heard him say that, it wasn't the second wife I ever had that passed away. It was my second wife who passed away. Oh, yeah. I don't want uh, you to think yeah. that a lot of these women are dying and falling around. Yeah, well, you know, we, we don't know. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if the first wife was, is, it was, is dead yeah. or not. Is around. So anyway, mm -hmm. uh, she, uh, I tried to start a GoFundMe at, at, to fund cancer uh, research. Mm -hmm. And so all I said was cancer research, and I gave him $100. The, the bet I had with Natalie was $20, but I tried to do a nice thing, and I set this thing up, and I was hoping to raise more money, mm -hmm. and I put $100 in it. Mm -hmm. GoFundMe suspended the thing because I didn't pick – uh, a charity. I didn't realize that I had to pick, you know, like the American Cancer Association mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. It was just, you know, cancer research. I had no idea, you know, that that wasn't the way to go. They actually they refunded my hundred dollars and mm -hmm. they shut down the uh, the GoFundMe account. So mm -hmm. if they can do that for, you know, a, a, a kike from San Francisco, mm -hmm. they can certainly. Uh, uh, not uh, collect ten million dollars for truckers, and then all of a sudden decide. That you know, I think that that's wrong. Okay, in other words, they should have never they should have never allowed the money to be collected in the first place if they didn't yeah. if they didn't believe in it. But if yeah. after the fact they say we don't believe in it, and what they should say is we don't believe in it. So then all those people who have put in their credit cards and so on and and given us money, we're returning it to you. Well, ultimately, that's what they did. 
But, you know, it, it was strange. How do you, it's kind of like the cancer research thing that I try to do. How do you fund uh, these, the, this group of truckers? I mean, it, it's, it's a cloud of ether. Uh, out there and you well, know, the, you... I, the question is okay somebody started this right yeah. I don't know who started it or whatever uh, but then how do they manage to disseminate the money to the truckers exactly in, in other words what organization is there to disseminate it or is this guy, person who asked for the money just going to keep it for himself and buy a yacht well and it, it might be like Black Lives Matter where the woman who is the CEO bought four houses uh, totaling four and a half million dollars and now nobody can find her and she put her assistants in charge of the 90 million that was collected and uh, you know where'd the money go mm -hmm. uh, you know somebody else also wrote well, I think me that's what they were saying with you is you yeah. started a thing for you know right ever and uh, and you didn't have an organization if you if you right. had said I'm starting GoFundMe, and I'm going to. This is going to be sent to the American Cancer Society. Right. Then probably. They I, I, I didn't know. I never started a GoFundMe before. I've donated to GoFundMe's, but you know, I didn't realize yeah. that you you had to do that. I just automatically assumed that they'd give it to cancer research. You know, GoFundMe takes about what twenty percent or something. Only if you let them. Uh, they they actually I've donated to a number of things, including uh, well, no, no no if you if you add a couple of dollars more, then they'll let your entire amount of money go. In other words, you got to pay for their share their part. Well, uh, I I I, I would like to them. I would like to see an accounting by GoFundMe of how much money they make for themselves. Well, uh, I thought that when you donated to GoFundMe, that they said. Uh, do you uh, do you want to pay extra to have? Uh, oh yeah, so they'll just take it out of the donation. So if you don't want to pay extra mm -hmm. to offset your donation, you pay an extra. Two yeah, three yeah an extra. Right. Let's say twenty percent or ten percent or yeah, whatever it is. Right, right. Uh, I, I'm not sure what the amount is, but uh, so if you elect not to do that, then mm -hmm. they probably if you donated a hundred dollars, they probably give ninety dollars to the cause. And they take ten. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, well, what the hell, you know? Well, the you know these these uh, these things. Now, I'm wondering, uh, for instance, Black Lives Matter raised ninety million dollars. Ninety million dollars. Now, I understand that a lot of the money they raised went to the DNC. Uh, uh, at least that's what that's what I was. That's told. what you were told. Who were you told by? Oh, uh, uh, Fox. Might have been Marjorie. I don't know. That was Fox. I'm sure it was Fox. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, oh, you know, I was going to ask you this also. Mm -hmm. The truckers that are in Canada, mm -hmm. the ones that are re uh, that are rebelling against all the mandates, mm -hmm. are they Republicans? No, of course not. So maybe all the people that are uh, that are rebelling against the mass mandates in this country, not all of them are Republicans. You know, there's a lot of protests going on in California. And only 22% of the state is Republican. So, well, you know, I mean, uh, it, it, it's um, it's people. I mean, look, you know, people are complaining. They, they're tired. They're sick and tired of wearing the mask, and they're sick and tired of you know, getting the vaccines and not being able to go about their daily lives in the way they used to. But I'm sorry. That's not the way the world is right now, unfortunately. Well, and so, uh, you, you know, if you if you want to get to a point where we can say we are truly safe, then you got to wait a little bit and you got to keep keep going with it. But you I can't thought, suddenly say, you know, oh, uh, you know, I mean, like the truckers up in Canada are going crazy. I mean, th which is interesting to me because it's so unlike Canadians. That's right. You know, they I mean, they're Republican Canadians. I mean, are they are they still going? We don't want to wear masks, but we're sorry to say so. Yeah, well, that, that, that would have been the good joke, uh, but uh, you, you delivered it right. But, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just looking at what's going on up there, what's going on in France, what's going on in the U.K. What's and, going on in uh, the U.K.? Well, they're, they're having these uh, they're, they stopped the mask mandates. So they stopped the covid uh, injection mandates. Uh uh, they're they're figuring it out first. I guess their people are protesting, and 
Uh, no, it's not that there are people who are protesting. I think that uh, the United States is the place where they're mainly protesting, and in Canada you've got truck drivers because I guess they feel their, uh, 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 you know, their livelihood is being impinged upon by these mass mandates, but the fact that they can't go over the border without wearing a mask or without being vaccinated is not Canada's fault. It's the fault of the United States who won't let them in. Well, we can't go to Canada if we're not vaccinated. Matter of fact, we right. can't go to Canada. Look, uh, I just say, I, it, well, I'll tell you, let me let me bring a few people in here because one of them knows a little bit about this. My, my daughter doesn't want to come home from Toronto mm -hmm. uh, because she says that if she comes back to the States from Toronto, she can't get back to Toronto. Mm. So, uh, you know. Yeah. Vaccinated. Yeah. Okay, here are two people who are experts on, on COVID. Charlie is kind of an amateur expert, and uh, and and it, while uh, Brian Neary doesn't want to say he is an expert, he does deal with it, okay, as part of his business. Am I right, Brian? Is that the best way of putting it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, how do you guys feel about stopping the mass mandates? We're going to stop them here in uh, in New in New York, as of. Uh, people are going to die. Huh? A lot more people are going to die. Yep. Now, the good thing about California is Santa Clara County is going to keep the mandates for a little bit longer while we test on all the other counties. Just wait and see what they do. Exactly. What happens to them? Santa yeah. Clara County has always been pretty strict, so I, I don't mind it. My work, even my work, you know, we kept we kept the masks on even when we were allowed to take them off, like, you know, a safe way and stuff like that. We kept them going, and I was sort of happy. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. yeah. And, we're, and we're doing actually – we're doing a lot more testing at work right now uh, because of all the COVID and uh, Fluvid, our, our new products. Uh, we just want to make sure that uh, we're not introducing anything into our cartridges while we're sending them out. So. What is Fluvid? That's uh, flu and COVID. Oh, because okay. see the doctor, see if you go into a doctor with, oh yeah, I am talking light about it. Huh? When you go into the hospital, uh, with flu-like symptoms, they have to break it down. So before COVID, they had one test that had the flu A and flu B, and then they and RSV, and then they would test for that. Mm -hmm. And then COVID came along; they didn't have a test for that yet, but they would test with our cartridge to see if they had that the the the, uh, the usual seasonal flu. And then when they didn't have that, they knew that they had flu-like symptoms, and they they you know they just assumed that they had COVID until the COVID test came, and then we combined those three plus COVID into Fluvid. Wow. Now we have the plus assay that sort of helps with the variant a little You're bit. You're constantly having to keep on the case, aren't you? Yeah, but we've always been like that. Zika and, uh, you know, all those other ones. We we dealt with the government to do the yeah. uh, test only right away. So, yeah. yeah, so we've always been involved with it. Hello to Kevin. How are you? Alan, Charlie. Hi, hi guys. How are you doing, uh, Charlie? How do you feel about are they going to are they going to do away with the mask mandates in the uh, in your? I think it's suicidal. Three thousand two hundred and thirty three Americans died today from COVID. Does that sound uh, like we need to get rid of the mask mandates, Charlie? How many how many died last year on this date from COVID? No, I don't know. Seventeen. I'll, I'll tell you, it was seventeen hundred. Yeah, but but they I think there's a big difference between who's dying now and who's dying then, right? A lot of people who are unvaccinated. I mean, the numbers of Bill Maher is tossing up. They're saying like 90% of the people who died were unvaccinated. And then what do you say like another like 70% were over 65 or obese or something. He had some numbers tossing up and if those are true, I mean, I, I don't know why they hide everything like that from us because I, I mean, that really that. goes to the older people have to be careful, just like Alex always says, he's wearing a mask all the time. And I, if I was in his shoes, I would too. And then the obese, you know, and, and unhealthy people who are big, you know, those two, those two categories, I think really have to be on this. And maybe a lot of us don't. Yes, Charlie. Well, the thing about a year ago is we were only having, um, you know, 200,000 COVID cases a day Whereas these people that are dying now are from three weeks ago, we are having 800,000 mm. post cases a day. Why is that? That's why why, why do we have more, more, more contagious than, than Omicron is more contagious. 
it's more. Yeah, but it's not as deadly. Why? Why? It's, why are more? Well, it may not be as deadly, but the a million cases, a lot of people are going to die. It's not as deadly if you're vaccinated. If you're unvaccinated. Exactly. Well, let me, let me let me explain something to Phil. The the, the difference here is is that um, uh, we uh, have more cases because it is more le because it is more uh, uh, prevalent contagious. And, and contagious. And, but its lethality is not as great. But because there are more cases, what lethality there is amounts to more deaths. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not so sure uh, how many cases uh, compared to last year. I mean, but uh, I can say this. Wait a minute, you just said something about the number of cases oh, last said, year. And, I said and, the number of deaths. Deaths. Uh, uh, yeah, number of deaths last year compared to the number of deaths this year today on today's date. Uh, at last year. A better uh, statistic would be what the average for seven okay. days average of death. Well, and that how, was 2,900. And, what and what's the percentage of people vaccinated now compared to last year? Well, the average average seven days for this this week was 2,900 uh, a day mm -hmm. was the average. But now, now what's yeah. the average a year ago? I, I, Might have been the same thing for you know, and you could pick one particular day where the numbers were low. Well, every day the numbers were low last year compared to this no, year. No, they weren't. Yeah. Were well, they had... The only time they were low was on the weekends. Yeah. Uh, oh, because uh, people were staying inside and dying? No, because they weren't reporting them. Ah. Because the, the places that reported were closed on the weekend. You know, I saw an interesting thing tonight. Uh, the, uh, uh, two years ago, when they first had the lockdowns, mm -hmm. there was a guy on Malibu Beach, and he was windsurfing, mm -hmm. and he didn't have a mask on. And the Coast Guard went out there, and they arrested him because he wasn't wearing a mask. He was alone on a surfboard, paddle paddleboarding uh, on, on, a, on a surfboard. Now, the truckers that are uh, in their trucks, they're normally alone. They sleep in the truck. They eat in the truck. And they got to wear a mask in the truck? Yeah, come on. Uh, you know, don't you think this is government I don't government think anybody overreach? said they had to wear a mask in the truck. Yeah. Well, no. To, to come over the border to the U.S. So when you're crossing the border, yeah, and you're maybe lowering yeah, your well, window. Kevin is saying to... no. Huh? But uh, Kevin is saying no. So what are well, okay. they protesting wait a minute. Kev about oh, wait a minute. in Canada? Well, well, Kevin, who, uh, uh, Kevin, were you saying no? Wait a minute. Uh, wait, no, your, mic. Your, your mic isn't on, uh, Kevin. You're muted. You're muted. They don't go. have to wear a mask in their trucks. No. Well, then why are they protesting? Because you think they're protesting because of that, Phil? <laughs> that's great. one of the Everybody reasons. Great. They're protesting mandates. They're protesting. They're, the that's mask. all they're protesting. They're protesting the fact that they are being mandated to do things. That's the only thing they're protesting. And I'll bet you half of them guys are from the U.S. sitting up there on the on the on the Canadian border. Oh, yeah, in, in trucks with Canadian license plates. Okay, okay. You know, I'll give you that. You know, they, they, they probably are up there, and they're probably Canadian truckers, and they're pissing off all the American truckers that are trying to get up there and do their business, if you notice that as well. Yeah. They're, uh, they're, no, there's I don't, a, there's I a bunch know. of them up there, but there's a lot of them that don't agree with what they're doing. You know, I, I, I can understand them having a, having a stand, saying their piece, Mm -hmm. and moving on there's also but they're they're disrupting a lot of other people's business and a lot of other people's you know uh how about uh, their making how, money and well, everything else well, how about you know, their they're doing exactly what they don't want to be doing kevin they're, how, they're how interrupting about interrupting other people's how, you know home kevin, you know making their money kevin how about their health uh people i saw were complaining that the smoke the the soot and everything from the diesel that they're running in in in, in downtown well, I, i'll tell you i sure as hell wouldn't want to be stuck on a bridge in a truck with another with another however many trucks are stuck on that bridge at eighty thousand pounds a piece wow. i don't know what that thing's rated at but <laughs> don't look all good i'm one. saying is is that they were saying there's one woman i saw they were interviewing was saying i can't breathe because of the of the diesel smoke in, in the yeah and they can't shut down because they'll freeze yeah. yeah, was she a trucker or was she just a news reporter? No, she was a, a citizen. A resident. A resident. What was she doing on the bridge? She wasn't on the bridge. You don't she, have to be in the bridge. They, they, where is it? Downtown Toronto or wherever? Where yeah, this it's is, outside uh, of Toronto. Not Toronto. It's uh, Ottawa. 
Ottawa. Ottawa. Yeah. Ottawa. Okay. The downtown Ottawa, and it's causing a, it's a, it, it's causing con, a congestion in the streets and congestion in the lungs. Yes. Uh, 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 Alan. 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 We, we, Alan. we went through this last week with Phil throwing out numbers that people that died of COVID on this day last year, and he was way off. And once again, no, I wasn't. Yes, he, yes, you were. And once again, you're way off. What numbers you just used? 1,700? 1,700 uh, 1700 this day last year. Right. And according to the CDC, on February the 9th, 2021, 2,400 people died. Well, I, I got it. I'll uh, I got to turn my phone back on. But as soon as it comes back on, I'll get you the statistic. And uh, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go to get it? Where are you going to go to get it? It's the bottom of Drudge. Ah, now let me ask you, uh, Alan. Where did you go to get your statistic? The Centers for Disease Control. Okay. He went to Seven <laughs> Eleven. Yes, what were you going to say, right Charlie? I the CDC website. Charlie, what were you going to say? Uh, trustworthy. I was say CDC, same thing that... Uh... Uh, extremely trustworthy organization. Yeah, absolutely. But Drudge, yeah. far more so. Uh, more so than them. Drudge, what does Drudge do? Drudge up the poop and stuff from the gutters? What do they do? It's a strange name, Drudge. It's somebody's name. Yeah. Uh, I forgot his first name it was Alan Drudge, Michael Drudge, something like that. Mm -hmm. And you used this mirror thing last week. Earlier today, you said you were going to get something new. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Get the bridge back up. By there. the way, American Patriot is here uh, on the chat room. He's the only guy on the uh, chat room. He and Charlie making yeah. what I consider wrong statements. It says, do people still think experimental shots work? What experimental shots? Yeah, really. <laughs> Wait a minute, what experimental well, shots well, is he I talking about? I understand why he trusts the therapeutics and he doesn't trust the vaccines when they're both made by the same well, pharmaceutical Wait a minute, I want, to, I want to tell American Patriot, American Patriot, they're not experimental any longer. They have been considered official by the CDC. They're approved. They're both approved. Moderna and Pfizer. Yes. So they're not experimental. So let me see you now take that away within the next, oh, say, minute. Otherwise, I am banishing you from the chat, okay? Which will leave nobody except Charlie in the chat. But, you know, that's fine with me. Uh, I Tyson's don't care. Huh? Well, Tyson's Acosta, um, just uh, Patriot is SG. Who's you know, have SG? you ever noticed when, when Phil's talking about COVID and his lips are moving, it's all bullshit? <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, well, you know, you well, know, it's where you get your info from. Go figure. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm trying to find my. Why don't you go to Sunday? What he does is he reads one sentence on Drudge's rap sheet, okay, and then he spurts no, it back it without bottom. even knowing what it's about. I mean, it could be that within that article that you read, they say, oh yeah, well, there were 2,400 last year, but some All people right. say blah 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 blah. You know, come on, right. don't. Uh, let me get to the bottom of the page. Uh, of course, I can't find it. It's not on the bottom of the page. Oh, he made it up again. No, it was on. It was. And it could be. Oh, here it is. Got it. Got it. Oh, OK. Uh, COVID cases just for Charlie mm -hmm. USA, uh, February 8th, 2022. Uh, we got one hundred ninety four thousand twenty one cases on February 8th, 2021. Hey, Charlie, on February 28th. On uh, February 8th, 2021, we had 92,982 cases. Now, Over 100,000 less. Are you reading no. from Are you reading from the article or just the in line in drugs? One day, over 100,000 less. You, well, why don't you go to yeah. the article and tell me who, who published uh, that article? Uh, okay, in a second. Deaths. No, I want to know who published that article now before you continue with this. Well, I, I don't think I if I uh, click on it, there's a world sick map. Uh, but no, uh, no, what, I, what, where, 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 where are you, where is the, what, is this uh, information coming from? Uh, I ended up with something other, this world sick map is something I didn't hold understand. On, hold on a second. I'm going go, to go, go, go to the bottom of Drudge and you're going to see, uh, where is it? I mean, I don't know why I'm wasting my time with this. But you got nothing else to do. I well, anyway. Me. Uh, Charlie's uh, uh, claim to fame is that there were more COVID cases now, and that's true, 194,000. But 
there were 100,000 oh, less I, I on the see. same day a year ago. And then deaths, there are uh, over 1,000 deaths difference. So the percentage of deaths are actually uh, higher now. Exactly. That's because there's so many cases. Right. But people dying now are the ones that got sick three weeks ago when we had 800,000 cases yeah, a day. But why, why uh, is we didn't have a vaccine a year ago? Yes, and we did. A year ago, I was vaccinated already just, a year ago. We just got it in February, January, February. There was only a few people being vaccinated, the president, the vice president. And there nurses. also wasn't uh, Delta and there wasn't Omicron. No, it was more deadly. No, no, it wasn't. wasn't. Delta has been the most deadly one yeah. that we've had. Yeah, people were dying left and right. They were dying left and right because we didn't know how to treat it. And, Once and Delta came along, they were dying left and right, even though we yeah. did know how to treat it because it was more deadly. Mm -hmm. Well, if you had, if you were vaccinated, for instance, in my county, 79.9% in Contra Costa County are vaccinated. The reason they won't list, uh, lift the mandate is that they said, well, you got to have 80%. And uh, uh, and as far as um, uh, the, the other thing, they said if there's three uh, more than 75 cases in the county, they're not going to lift. Well, there was the, something else going on a year ago too. Yeah, we were that? all wearing considerably more masks than we are now. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, well, people wear masks no, now. No, no, uh, no. I'm, sure I'm saying back Texas. then they were far more aware of that. They washed their hands when they came in. They did a lot of things, a lot of things prophylactically that we don't do any longer. Every business that I walk into in in, uh, in uh, Contra Costa County, for I'm not instance, talking about businesses. A, I'm talking about in general, people let their guard down now over when yeah. uh, over yeah. last year. The During the movie holidays. theaters were closed a year ago. There weren't any rock concerts and stuff going on a year ago. All of that's been opened up in the there past. There weren't any capital. But the liquor stores were open, and, and so were the marijuana dispensaries. And no churches. No, you can't have those. I'm sorry. You, you got, and plus... We shouldn't have those anyway, if you want ago, my opinion. There were no... Uh, no <laughs> people in the stands in the football game. That's why COVID wasn't being spread as much. I, I like when when Phil is being proven wrong on his statistics. He changes the subject hey, to church you know, 7-Eleven. Look, yeah, uh, yeah, Alan, yeah. I, I, you and we should have a, a right in this society to go to any church anytime we want to and a 7-Eleven. Okay, that's, so, well, that's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Without a mask. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, the, I think that, uh, you know, you could go to Home Depot, but you weren't supposed to go into a, a, a local business. By the way, speaking of 7-Eleven, do you know why it's 7-Eleven? You may have wondered this. On the door, they have a height chart. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm never going to be up by 7-Eleven. <laughs> That's the top. Uh, but why top do they thing. have that? Everybody know? Uh, yeah, when they, they get robbed, uh, they can say how tall the person was as they uh, run they, out. <clears throat> yeah. Remember, remember when uh, Trump was talking on 9 11 and kept saying the people down at 7 11? Yeah. He, he was, he's, he's the smartest guy in the world. I thought uh, he was. So by the way, he just did a whole, he didn't do a tweet. He can't do tweets anymore. He does his little encyclicals. Uh, well, he's on Getter or what's the name of that uh, other site? That was Grindr, the gay social media site. <laughs> oh, that's, that's your, that's your <laughs> site. You know that one. Oh, he's uh, on it all day long. On the news all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what news are you watching? <laughs> hey, Fox he, news. he lines his birdcage with uh, the advocate. Yeah. What's the advocate? That's your newspaper. But apparently it is in Allen's because he doesn't know what it is. It's no a free it. gay newspaper. I actually advertised in it because gay people have money and they can spend it on floors. Well, they also have rugs, too. You know, yeah. they need rugs. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Floors, rugs, same thing. The, your, your ad in it, was it in the personal section? <laughs> yeah. I, I, bend <laughs> over, call, I, bend call your, I bend over for your floor. No, it's a call Alan. Bend over backwards for his customers. <laughs> there you go. For a good time, call uh, call Alan, yeah. call Phil. Uh, yeah. Um, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. 
But uh, no, I, I um, through Channel 20, I uh, advertised in the pink sheets and all of those things. I advertised on Channel 20 on TV, mm-hmm. uh, you know, because I think that it was a good demographic. And uh, so, you know, I let them know that I'd welcome their business. Mm-hmm. Well, we, uh, you know, I mean, all I'm saying is that, like, for instance, earlier we were talking, Phil and I, about the whole Joe Rogan thing. And... Uh, you know, I just think that we have to be responsible. And I always have to take Phil to task on some of these figures because, uh, and as as well as you guys, because we can't let him get away with it. All you know, right. Phil doesn't, I- to be honest with you folks, ladies and gentlemen, just tuned in, Phil doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. All right. I'm looking at these headlines. <laughs> Abrupt end to mass mandates reflects shifting political landscape. Next headline, no vax proof for the Oscars. Next headline, restrictions will soon be a thing of the past. Next, Hawaii will not require tourists to be boosted. UK to drop isolations. You know, this is the way the world is changing, and you can't tell me that it, but you you can't tell me these people are Republicans. They're making you know, political Hawaii. Decisions. Oh, hey, listen, listen. The Democrats are whores just like the Republicans. Instead although the Republicans are all Democratic whores. Although the, the Republicans suck better. Uh, but the, but the, oh, well, ask Alan about they're, that. They're whores, as, <laughs> they're whores as well. I will but, never but, put and, my and, penis near your and, mouth. And, <laughs> and the reason the reason why Biden's lowering the thing and all the then is because the midterms are coming up and they don't want this to haunt them. Okay, yeah. and that's the only reason they're doing it. But by that time, let's see how many people are dead as a result of yeah. politics. Okay. Yeah. Well, let, let's see. Uh, you uh, hear the news that uh, uh, comedian Bob Saget died from head trauma? Wow! No. It just Where popped up. Where did he get the head? Yeah, the, they they said that they released more information, but I didn't read but it. They but they don't know what the head trauma was until a few months ago. CNN. CNN. Apparently, he fell backwards and hit his head or something, according to a family member. I don't know. No, that could be. That could happen. They found, him, they found him dead in a hotel well, room. Well, he had a heart attack. So maybe he had a heart attack. He uh, he fell backwards. He got into bed. He, he hit his put head. his hands on his chest, and that was that. Really? Okay. Maybe maybe he was trying to get back up on the bed, you know, but it was too slippery from you being up there. Yeah, no, I thought they discovered him in his bed, and his hands were on his chest. One hand That's what they chair. said, but that was initial stuff. We don't know. Well, all we know is yeah. what the uh, what the autopsy says. And if the yeah. autopsy says head trauma, it's head trauma. I, hmm. I'm just going by what came in the news. They, just they still said it's going to be a few more weeks till they find out exactly. Right. But yeah, it was head trauma. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yep. There you go. Uh, they're, they're using uh, Brian's test to find out what he actually does. Yeah. Well, yeah. What... we had a movie. There was this movie that they used our system. It was like some that looked like uh, the thing, you know, the Carpenter movie, you know. Yeah. And uh, it was supposed to be like that, and they they have our st- system in this thing, and then it never went through. Hmm. Wow. Well. Hey, uh, let's see. Nancy Pelosi uh, warned the athletes in China not to speak up because the Chinese, she said, are ruthless, and. Uh, I guess the athletes from all over the world are complaining about the way they're being treated, the way they're being isolated, the food that they're being given. Uh, there uh, seems to be a, a, a lot of... Uh, well, why discontent. don't they just send out for Chinese? <laughs> well, uh, I don't understand your point. Well, I, I'm, what I'm saying is, is that, you know, the freedom... Picking on Nancy Pelosi, that's his point. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck does what Nancy Pelosi have to do with what China's treating, how China's don't treating... Don't be short-sighted. Them? China, we're. I'm speaking up because I think that the Chinese are being abusive to the athletes. Nancy Pelosi Hold is on a saying, second. just, well, just take it. Do something while you're doing this. Yeah. Na- Nancy Pelosi is saying, just take it and don't say anything. That's not the same thing. That's like saying that my dad was telling me to just take it when he gave me okay. to talk Continue. about fucking with police. Yeah, I got my no, cat. He wasn't telling me to just take it, but he was saying, just Ready save your go. fucking life, and that's all she's saying to them. Right. Well, right. then maybe we shouldn't have gone to China it's, with our with our Olympics. It's, it's good advice that Nancy's giving out. Yeah. 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 Well, Be careful. It, 
be it's careful. a lack of freedom. Well, no, it's it. it look, there's never been freedom in China. Okay, no. get over that idea. Okay, no. and and we. By the way, we don't have freedom here either. I just want to. Uh, well, not uh, not not right now. Not with the Democrats in the world. Oh White Jesus, House. Phil. <laughs> you know uh, they're they're training us to. Uh, to be subservient. You know, you know China, 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 whenever we action. accuse them of something, come back with, yeah, but look what you do. Oh, you know? so it's whataboutism. Well, it's definitely whataboutism because you don't have a right to tell us what to do when you do it yourself on different level. We don't do anything. Oh, we, like we, don't, we don't do what they're doing to the Uyghurs, do we? But we yeah, did it. No. no, wait a minute. Excuse me. I remember the Chinese, the Japanese, rather, in America... Yeah. During yeah, World 70, War II. 80 years ago. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But we did it, okay. Yeah, and, J just like they're doing it. It was our little re-education. And it camps. was Democrats that did it. It was your Franklin Roosevelt, uh, anyway. you know, that uh, set up those camps. But uh, you know, he's in Hyde Park, and those guys are on uh, Angel Island. Isn't that where Carpet One started? In, in, in uh, flooring those camps. Yeah. Yeah. No, we had uh, dirt floors in those camps. Well, uh, the point is that what I'm, what I'm, one of the things that I'm, do you do, do you know that the island, what is it? Is it uh, Stinson? Angel Island? Angel Island was one of the camps. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, but anyway, I've, I've walked around Angel Island. It was five miles in circumference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, we, you were saying. Oh, no, what I was, say, what I was saying is, what look, about is look, I think part of the problem with China right now yeah. is that the people who are running it are much more dictatorial. Like when I was there 10 years ago, there was a far more, less oppressive feeling yeah. about the country that you almost felt that it was coming out of that long period of hardcore communism and then balancing communism with. Uh, with uh, capitalism to kind of get a hybrid kind of country really uh, as they considered it and that uh, she has kind of ruined that I mean they now, started they started be doing the whole Hong Kong thing I mean when we were when we went there I mean Hong Kong was a thriving capitalistic city making a lot of money for China and uh, I, I think they're really screwing that up you know it's uh, Trump's fault. You know uh, the uh, parable about the uh, the scorpion and the frog? Yes, that's what I do. Yes. Okay. Well, that's what the Chinese do. No, and it, it's not necessarily what the Chinese do. Under Deng Xiaoping, uh, he tried to, to start making uh, the, an element of capitalism come into the society to balance it with the communism and have the communism work for the people and have the capitalism work for the people as well. Because Mike Wallace, in interviewing him on 60 Minutes, he said, uh, I, I thought you didn't like capitalism. He says, I have nothing against capitalism as long as it is used to benefit all the people. Why, why in Cuba right now are there... What does uh, Cuba I, have to do with this, Phil? To me. Let me finish a sentence. No, one. and then it'll have nothing to do... Right now in Cuba... There are uh, massive protests, and the Chinese and the Russian governments mm -hmm. are trying to prop up the Cuban government so that they can keep the communist regime in Cuba, only 90 miles from our Shaw. Sure. So, you know, uh, they're... Who's they trying to do this? The, the Russian and... and Why uh, would the Russians the, do it? The Russians aren't communists. Well, I just saw in the news tonight that they said... Uh, that they're trying to uh, keep, uh, bolster the uh, Cuban uh, communist government. And I guess why, right now... Why shouldn't they? There are only two, there are only, I believe, two communist countries left in the world. And it's, Ch it's China and Cuba. And why shouldn't China stand up for Cuba? Well, uh, yeah, you're rooting for the home team. There, there's, there's over 100,000 people protesting in the streets in... in uh, in Cuba right now, uh, and, and that information is being suppressed. It is? You know, How did yeah. you hear about it then? Uh, I'll, I'll find the article. No, I'm not saying find the article. I'm just saying if it's being suppressed, how did you find out about it? 
uh, it was one of my right wing websites that reports those kinds of stories mm -hmm. and doesn't keep them from the people. Yeah. I guess they weren't suppressed. Uh, only on uh, right wing websites. What was the story I saw on OAN the other day and I went, my God, is, is are they just so full of it? Are they just passing wrong, false information? And you go to all these sources that are just, just known for their misinformation. And then you come on here and you supply it to us as real information. Yeah, it is real information. Yeah. Not not every you know just because you don't like the the Phil uh, you're not a stupid thing. guy why do you act like one is it just for show here yeah I like this stuff this is uh, this is what I feel is is actually the truth and that the other things are being suppressed by the left wing media uh, so how you doing Kevin uh, things going good for you down there and yeah they're going okay yeah where are you in Hollister did you say yeah yeah. How how is it in Hollister these days? Pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a lot of. Uh, it, of didn't they used to have a lot of biker rallies in Hollister? Oh yeah, every July Fourth. Yeah. Wasn't that the fact that the place that the movie The Wild One was kind of based on? Yeah, they made it down here. Well, parts of it. Yeah. Parts of it. Yeah. Yeah. Downtown and the bar is still here. Yeah. You notice I'm trying to change the subject. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's been hot down there too, right? It's been hot here. Actually, we had 80 degrees today, I think. Yeah, it's okay. crazy. NBC News. Global inside, warming. Global inside warming. Inside the, the anti government protests in Cuba. You hear something? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I hear I hear static. something. It's a, like I a like a, it, it, Well, I thought it was like a gnat in my ear. It's well, almost it, like. Um, what was that in the old days when there was, you know, static and all that yeah, noise? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hey, Phil, we're going through a tunnel. We may lose you. <laughs> you're breaking up. I think you're breaking up. Yeah. So uh, uh, this one was reported a while ago, but uh, there was uh, inside the anti-government protests in Cuba, it was, um, uh, and I guess these protests are going on. Uh, how do we get to that? In New York? How do we get well, to that from China? I don't know. Because China is supporting communism in Cuba. Oh, I see. Okay. So, and why shouldn't they? Because they're a communist country. Wouldn't they support another communist country? Yeah. Well, they're having a national day of protest today. Uh, because if I were a total moron, I'd be defending you. <laughs> national Pizza Day today too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, uh, did you buy a pizza today, Kevin? No, I made my own at home. Uh, what's your favorite topping? Oh, I like all kinds of different stuff. And you I see mean, what, why what, nobody what, what, watches what you, this show? What, what, actually, the numbers have gone up since they started talking about pizza. Yes. Uh, yeah. um, by the way, the other day, I, I checked uh, about a week ago, uh, mm -hmm. the total people watching the, the Monday show at one, in one way or another, over 1,000. Let me ask you something. Yeah. If you look at this panel, other than me and Alan, mm -hmm. uh, it's the same suspects uh, here that are on your show on Monday. No, so oh, no, oh, no. You that got Brian, you got Charlie. Judge Char uh, Charlie and Brian. That was it. That's it. The, all right. The rest so, of them, we got, usually got about 12 people. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you got, I mean, Charlie will tell you it's a different group of people, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's so different about them? But they're different physical people. Different physical people, <laughs> and and they have a different demeanor. Yeah. We never talk about we never talk about what we're talking about tonight. Never. We've got, we got a couple politics. Got, got a couple of broads on there too. A couple of babes yeah. too. A couple of broads. So uh, if you want more listeners, uh, do you want to change the conversation? No, I don't think anything will help this show. <laughs> <laughs> Less Jews. Oh no! I just I'm just amazed at how many people watch that other show, you know. Yeah. And it, it, I think it's because people are tired of the dialogue that's yeah. going on. You know, it's just exhausting. Yeah. You know, 
All yeah. right. I, I'm, I'm all for changing the dialogue. I don't really give a shit whether you guys wear a mask, don't wear a mask, get vaccinated, don't get vaccinated. I'll wear a mask right here just to, just to piss you off. Hey. Here we go. What is that? It's a funnel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the weird ones with the this lady who walked by me and freaked me out. She has the one that has a it's a mask and then it's clear plastic here so you could see her mouth. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know something? That's not a bad idea. Because the thing that I bothers me is sometime I'll walk down the street, for instance, and there'll be a cute little kid that a mother has. And I want to just smile. Saying, mm. Hey, that's a cute and kid. They, and you can't and do that anymore. I, I feel that people can see your eyes and they can see if you're smiling just in, in, in your in your eyes and your and the you know, the way uh, you look at people. Really? I think, yeah, that, that, you know, you don't have to see a person's mouth to see that they're friendly towards you and that they're smiling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, uh, you can communicate with your eyes. Yeah. But anyway, getting back to China, they were in, uh, in the Olympics today. Um, they had a problem with, uh, what is it? Uh, judges. Huh? Uh, uh, judges being uh, pro-Chinese or the American skater that fell that, uh, became Chinese or she was Chinese heritage but she's an American skater she joined the she got Chinese citizenship renounced her American citizenship skated for uh, for China and fell and the Chinese uh, people are are livid uh, that uh, that she didn't perform the way she should have that's not what I'm talking about at all that uh, that the member of the ROC which is the Russian Olympic uh, committee team yeah because the Russians can't complete oh, but they still oh. I know but they have ROC that's ridiculous but they have ROC they and so they can compete under that and they uh, uh, eliminated or, or disqualified temporarily the Russian team because they're suspected doping <laughs> for the I, I don't ROC know that, team. I don't know if, if it was uh, 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 thought that they were going to dope, but I think they proved uh, they had the one woman, she was disqualified, uh, and they said that uh, she was using drugs. Yeah, but she was using a drug for her heart, and it's, but it's a banned substance. So, you know, I mean, what do you do? You don't take... You, 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 gotta, you don't compete. You got a bum ticker, and you don't take something that's going to help I guess, it? I guess you can't compete under their rules. Not nah, just for a couple of weeks. Just risk it. Yeah, what the hell? Well, the IOC, the IOC as an organization, is so fucking corrupt that I, I just don't understand why we even listen to them. You know? They said something about the uniforms of some downhill skiers or something. Americans, something they, something with their uniforms. They're disqualifying them. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know. I watched the half pipe last night. That was pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, they weren't made in China. The, the uniform. Yeah, probably. Well, Sean, what's his name? Was yeah, Sean White, right, and he he fell on his first run. They have two runs to just qualify into the finals, and then so there's a little, little pressure on him for the second round because he's yeah a couple of these yeah, a bunch of these guys are really good, and and Sean White had pressure on him, and he delivers, so he got into the finals so that's tomorrow yeah. night. I think this is his last uh, Olympics. Yeah, he's retired. Yeah. Uh, Americans have six uh, gold, or in sixth place for gold medals. I, they might have seven medals, but uh, I think they're in sixth place, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, China uh, is in first place. For the number of gold medals. For the number of gold medals. Who right. has the number, number one? China. China? <clears throat> okay. That's because they're used to fake snow blowers. Why? Yeah, there's no real snow there. There's no real snow there. Uh, Don't you watch the Olympics, Phil? No. They got snow blowers blowing out fake snow on the side. I, I don't watch sports. Why would I watch the Olympics? Well, that is somehow I just sang in the, hmm? my mom sang in the opening games and uh, when they did a Squaw Valley in the sixth nineteen sixties, oh, wow. something like that. Yeah. Oh, so I have, I have a bunch of pins, pins from the uh, Deb. Pins, Squaw Valley pins, and all this stuff. Well, that that's interesting. You mentioned well, I have about a hundred pins they, from Barcelona. Because right, you get, didn't they, they the, change the thing the was name? to go around and get pins from various companies that made pins and. Mm. I don't know where my pin is. I I got a pin from Sydney. 
Yeah, but you only that one. Was that his name? You guys had such hot sex, he sent you a pin? I don't know where all my Barcelona pins are. I think they're probably in storage. I'm trying. Hers hers say something. It doesn't say participant, but it says something on those that she was was in the opening game. She went to Hillsdale High School in San Mateo, so I think their whole group. There was was a gal that won gold that lived in Fremont, where I live. Uh, Mm -hmm. Namaguchi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chrissy Yamaguchi. I saw her. I I hung out with her at the uh, Little Hammer. Little Hammer. And we went to the uh, the pairs sing- the pairs uh, 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 event, uh, the pair uh, pairs double, uh, and uh, I rode in the car with her and talked with her. Very nice lady. Nice. Yeah. I saw her, and I saw the other. There's another girl who's after her a few Olympics. There was local, and a lot of a lot of people from the Bay Area, and I'll tell you, those skaters, those girls have ass. Yes. Kardashian. Yeah. Yes, what I used to say. What I used to Kar- say Kardashian. is, oh we, we we sat there uh, in um, uh, at the Olympics in um, in Alberville. We were up in a, a we we're in a, a Kershaw was the town mm-hmm. we were in, and we were staying in a uh, in a what do you call it a chalet. It was Bobby Slayton and myself and a couple other people, and we were sitting there watching the figure skating, and what we were watching was how up the the uh, uh, the uh, what do you call it the uh, um, what do you call the thing when the crotch gets you start to see oh, oh. camel toe <laughs> camel toe we we're trying to see how how much camel toe would start to occur as the person was skating and in some cases it got pretty profound yeah yeah you know it's kind of like they hold their thing up their leg up here and then they spin around and go like my crotch you know I, I we. Uh, so we, we, we enjoyed that. That's in the days when we could enjoy being guys. <laughs> Today, you know, what happens? Somebody then calls you on the carpet for it and you lose your de- job because you sat in a chalet making fun of the skaters. It was Michelle Kwan. Michelle Kwan was in San Jose. We, I happened to go to the Fairmont for dinner with my grandfather and there were a bunch of skaters there. And I, I saw her and I was like, oh my God, they're so tiny, but... Yeah, they have uh, very uh, conditioned lower halves. Oh, yeah. It takes a lot of muscle to do those jumps. Christy yeah. Yamaguchi is married to uh, Brett Hedigan. Yeah. Who's Brett Hedigan? He, he's a, he works for the Sharks. He's an announcer for the Sharks, but he played with the uh, – he was a hockey player for the uh, Florida Panthers. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I guess skiers stay – is skaters stay together? I mean – I guess so. They yeah. must – they probably married – He's about eight feet tall, and she's about – Three and a half feet tall. But, yeah, but yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. must have been married forever, huh? Uh, they've been married for a while, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. I saw her at a MC Hammer concert. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I used to see. I used to see. I used Can't to see touch MC, this. <laughs> I used to see MC Hammer at Twin Creeks when I played softball. Oh really? What? Oh yeah. Our, he'd our get company. over in a corner drinking beer, and he'd be all. Uh, uh, my mother owned a puppy. Wasn't a that mother. wasn't that the stupidest act ever in show business? Hammer? MC Hammer, Hammer. time? Yeah. Uh, oh, he had a yeah. big old house on the hill in Fremont, Milpitas. Yeah, area. my mother yeah. my mother <clears throat> was a was a property manager and she managed that house. Did he yeah, he had that? bowling alleys and everything up there. But he later, had, he later had to get rid of it, didn't he? Because he lost yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, he went bankrupt. Yeah, he, he used to open for the A's. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He used yeah. to do a lot of stuff for the A's. And, I don't know. Nah, that was about it, the A's, yeah. Now, hey, I remember uh, Billy Martin's people used to come to Camel, and they would bring food and stuff and gifts for Alex, uh, you know, the A's. Those were uh, the days when they brought tribute to the king. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What gifts That's when I had have? season tickets for the A's then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. I actually got to eat some of that stuff. He couldn't eat it all, so <laughs> he would share. Yeah, um, I, I remember one time when we were at KML. When I looked down in one morning, as I'm about to go on the air into the parking lot, and there's this giant rat down there. Yeah. Now, what it was was a guy dressed as a giant rat, and they brought him up because they wanted 
free publicity. They brought him up and they brought some pizzas and things like that. And they said, we're from a new thing called Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater. <laughs> and I said, well, what's with the rat? And they the didn't dissuade guy. me of the fact that he was a rat. Mask guy. And they, they said, oh, well, this is Chuck E. Cheese. Now, I said, wait this? a minute. A eating place, a food place has a rat or at the best a mouse as its mascot is <clears throat> you can't possibly win <laughs> I said, you know now the guy who started chuck e cheese was uh a silicon it was, it, it was, yeah, it was his name was started with a d uh um, nolan de bushnell. nolan bushnell he started atari also that's what it was atari yeah and i guess uh the pizza is not doing so well lately no, no, we call we, we we call it Chucky Disease. I yeah, went there, I went there one time. One I couldn't believe one. this. I mean, this is a place for kids, right? Yeah. yeah. And up on the wall, the the whole thing was automated. So this show went on, Absolutely. and it was all like puppets, and you know, but it was all automated, like Disney. He was and, a smart and, guy, no And and, and part of the when they were singing and playing music, there were all these hooves on the wall of animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they were clapping you know, hands like this. Yeah. And I'm going, if I were a kid, I'd be frightened to death of that. These dismembered. Kids love Chuck e. Cheese. My kids, oh, really? Love Chuck my e. kids. They closed one. They had one ever Almaden over here. They just closed oh. that one because of COVID. But story, story, and you know, one, I know Kevin knows that one. Story, yeah, that on one telling. has a huge one on the Is wall. On story or Tully? used to be on the front of the building. Yeah, Tully. Yeah, I'm Tully. I'm Tully when, when, my kids, yeah. when my yep. kids were young, I went into the little, uh, they got this thing you climb through and you slide down into a oh, big yeah. a thing of balls. Pla Did you uh, get stuck? No, ball. no, I was thinner then. No, he got his ball <laughs> stuck in it. I mean the ball pit. Yeah, yeah, but you you, you slid down this pipe in, in, into the pit. If we slid down this pipe into into the balls. The balls. What, what's that all about? Kinds of crap what is it? Is, is, is that the, the sperm? Balls. Wait a minute, is that the sperm ride? Yes. Yeah. We're both he, went down, the head. he went down the slide face first, so he got the first taste. Yeah. Hey, don't 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 excite Alan. You know, you start talking about sperm and he's gonna, you know, he's <laughs> he's he's he we won't be able to we stop talk him. too he's much like, about sperm and fucking the YouTube will demonetize. Yeah, well he, you know, he, he's like Tony on coffee, you know, when you start getting them around sperm. I gotta tell you something about about YouTube. It's just driving yeah. me crazy. So I, I watch the Monday numbers to see them. And they go up and they go up and they go up. We got up to something like, uh, at least on YouTube itself, I have several other places that we we get the numbers from. Uh, and it went up to like uh, 800 and, uh, excuse me, uh, 485. And I went, we're going to hit 500 this week. That's wonderful. All of a sudden, it goes down to 390. You know why? Because they pay you based on and, the number and, of... <laughs> and, and then it went up to like 385 again, 485. To, and then it the went down to 420. Number. I mean, they, they're they all over the place. The number, the number goes up and then it comes back down again. And I can't they, they, figure out they why. They put their hand on the scale so they pay you less. Well, I mean... Less eyeballs. They're screwing with me is what they're yeah. doing. You, you know, know what, Alex? I, I heard that from another guy that I watched too. Really? The sports, yeah. He said the same thing. He says he's looked at his numbers and they're up high, and then all of a sudden he looks again and they're low because he's got two channels and he was trying to figure out what was going on, and he was trying to he was trying to split and his I, channels. You you, get... you write them trying to get an answer and they never answer you. Yeah, that's what he said too. Same same freaking thing. Yeah. yeah, the high number was probably from Dredge. From Dredge. Yeah, Dredge, the thing that filmed those super statistics. Drudge. Drudge, 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 whatever. Same thing, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I heard that just yesterday, I think I heard it. Whatever you can drudge up, that's what they do. Well, I mean, no, but the, 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 that happens, and I it bothers it bothers me a great deal. Don't I mean, I don't I, I believe me when I say I have a thousand people who watched it on one occasion, between right. one thing and another. That ain't no big deal. I mean, you know, when you say Joe Rogan has two million people listening to him. Um, but you just go, wow, you know. You what? need to have Phil on more often. No, I, 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 I heard on Monday's show, I listened to it, and uh, you said that you were watching porn stars. And uh, 
Are you watching Asian porn stars, interracial porn stars, or uh, you once know? again, as I told my dear wife on that show, <laughs> the name of the show is Pawn Stars. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, it's Pawn Stars. It's, you're pretty good. Unless you're that from a different part of New York, then it's anybody here stars. watch Pawn Stars? Pawn Stars. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unless you're from Boston. I, I like the Asian one. <laughs> What's that? The Asian porn stars. No, it's Pawn Stars, and it's these guys who own a pawn shop down in Las Vegas. Just, just to give Phil credit, I think he knew the difference and was just twisting the and word around. It's kind yeah. of what it is. I describe it as the hillbilly uh, uh, antiques road show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like Antiques Roadshow. That's one of the best shows. <clears throat> on, was one of the best shows on TV. I, I haven't watched it in a. Well, I mean, a, was it is still there? Still is. Still there. You know, pe people go there with their stuff, and you know, they're they're hoping that it's worth a a fortune. And every once in a while, you get that guy that's got that right piece of furniture that's worth five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. But most yeah. of the time, it's well, you've been carting this around for four generations, and it's worth. 80 cents. Well, if you really want to be kind of dispirited, you you, you go into that pawn shop, okay, yeah. with your stuff. Because not only do they tell you that it's not worth crap, okay, because you thought you had something that was worth $500,000, and then somebody's saying, oh, they fake these all the time, and this is a fake, and here's how you can tell it's a fake and yeah. whatever, and then they offer you 30 cents. You oh know. no, they won't buy fakes. That yeah. that happened to me. I walked in there with an uh, a, an original autograph picture of President Trump, and they said it's faked all the time. So here we'll give you thirty cents. Only the news. And if it was a real autograph Trump, it'd be worth twenty cents. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, know, I, they're paying a lot of money for cop autograph copies of this book. Oh really? Yeah, like you can get the book for twenty nine cents, but with his autograph, it's a hundred and a half dollars or something they, they say that most of those porn, uh, porn star episodes are faked fake that, yeah. yeah that they're all setups <clears throat> uh you know the uh TV, the experts the, the tv company pays these people for the items and stuff and so they go out and find people that have unique things and and bring it in mm -hmm. and and they and they pay them to negotiate yeah. Yeah, you know what else is fake? Uh, you ever watch the Storage Wars? Storage Wars, same thing. Oh, yeah, that's so stupid. Same with American yeah, Pickers. They, they, they juice those. Uh, yeah, I mean, usually you find 1986 Harleys in those things that are worth nothing. <laughs> well, I find I find that the Pawn Mine's Stars, closer. what I like about this show. You I, have a nice looking yeah, I, I can't stand though. the way they try to be funny and things like that. But just the, you know, it's, it's an easy show to watch. People come in and they try to get some money for their items and they're told whether they're any good. And I wouldn't go to these guys because they'll tell you, they'll immediately go down, you know, in price, just bring you down completely. I was going to say Julia down, but that would yeah, be well, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, well, everybody, you know, you could use it as a word of endearment, you know. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, you know, I... Um, uh, they buy antique guns and then they go and they shoot them. Those, mm -hmm. th those are pretty. Those are pretty interesting yep. uh, episodes. But yeah. it's a, you know, I just it's one of those kind of things that you kind of watch like chewing gum. You know, yeah. like you know what we love also. Marjorie and I watch every week is, is Shark Tank. You know, I, she, I don't I don't watch that Shark Tank I don't again. It. Church. What do you mean you don't understand it? People you know, come how in. can these people be given 400000 500000 They got businesses that have no value, you know, that, that don't do... Well, they, they don't, don't give them money if it doesn't have any value. Well, you know, they, they invest in it. They think it's a good idea. Uh, and, uh, you know, the but couple of times that I've seen it... You should go on the show, Phil, and present your uh, hearing earplugs. <laughs> That's nothing that the other people don't do. Uh, but no, uh, you know, I mean, but the thing we like about Shark Tank is, again, it's just an easy show. It's just chewing gum, you know, yeah. and you just watch it, and it's after you're well, through, nobody gets one, hurt, you know. The one I like is Below Deck. Oh, well, uh, who doesn't like Below Deck? <laughs> <laughs> and all I like them all. I like the Mediterranean. I like the sailing one. Uh, I like... Uh, well, uh, I don't watch the... Standing. I don't watch... I love the Mediterranean one. Below deck Mediterranean. The other one, eh, not so much. They're all the same. 
No, they're not. Um, Mediterranean captain. has better looking women. Mm, depends. Yeah. They, oh they, yeah. Am I right? Am I right? Charlie Charlie seems to be. Oh, I don't with watch me. it. I've never watched. Okay, you, you I watch. I watch them all. Yes. And you agree, Mediterranean they have better looking women. Yeah. In fact, I was watching Mediterranean while I was listening to you guys on the show Monday while I was trying to do some work. Yeah. And I don't so care how I, done. I don't care how <laughs> instant, nothing done. <laughs> I don't care how politically incorrect it is. I'm a guy, and I enjoy looking at a good-looking woman in a bikini. Okay, okay, it's not no shoes on, huh? Yeah, they don't wear shoes. Yeah, on but them. I mean, uh, okay. the, but I, li I like the below deck show, you know, yeah. and the little too. intrigue that goes on, and yeah, uh, I, I, I love the dinners when they go to dinner and they're all drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, they, and they fight. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, my, my girlfriend, uh, fiance, she says, uh, you're watching that show with the flirty girls again. She says they're flirty girls. <laughs> you shouldn't and, be and, watching. And they are flirty girls. Yeah. Uh, yep. But I mean, it, it I I think it's it's a you know, it's a fun show. But I I like the Mediterranean better than the uh, the one that takes place in the uh, Well, the different captains are uh they're, they, I like to watch how they uh, interact with their employees and how they handle uh, different situations. Some of them are more laid back. That like Captain Sandy, she's a real professional. Yeah. Uh, and, and I like you uh, better than the guy who was the uh, uh, Lee. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, he's okay. You know, he he's he no was okay. He's I, not. He's not on the show oh, anymore. It's Captain Sandy yeah. now. Yeah. 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 And uh, can you believe what we're guy. talking about here, folks? These, no. They of... will soon if they watch Below Deck on Bravo. I'm going to I'm going to watch it now. I got to see it. I thought Bill was talking about the time he had sex with the sailor. Well, now yeah. I have I have Peacock because of yeah. the Olympics. So I can watch Below Deck Mediterranean and go back oh, seasons well, after season after season. Yeah. Well, that's uh, Peacock. Do you have Paramount for... Uh, uh, Paramount uh, Plus, that's where I'm watching... Uh, um, uh, what's what do you the call show? It? Uh, uh, Hoff, uh, uh, Hoff. Uh, it's uh, uh, Yellowstone. <clears throat> but I watch it hot, hot in Cleveland. Oh, Hot in Cleveland? I didn't yeah, know. Hot in Cleveland. Great show. Really? Betty yeah, White? Yeah, really, Phil. I mean, I'm surprised... I haven't know. watched 1883, but I've oh, watched Yellowstone. Oh, it's very good. Yellowstone. It's very yeah. good. Very good. Yeah, it's really excellent. Yeah. Um, and uh, anybody here watching 1883 yet? No. Is this the your birth year? Yes, it's oh. my my birth year. Thank you. Very no, much. actually, I haven't even heard of it. What's it's the spinoff of uh, Yellowstone. It's not oh, a spinoff okay. of Yellowstone. It's the prequel to Yellowstone. Yeah. And you don't have to have watched Yellowstone in order to enjoy 1883 okay. because it's about okay. how the Dutton family got to Montana. So it's like the Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul thing, you know? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's like how, Better Call Saul is a prequel to prequel, Breaking yeah. Bad. Yeah, yeah. You, you can watch Better Call Saul. And, Without Breaking Well, Bad. there are some references to so what, go, what goes on later and so on. So it's probably... I, I watched Breaking Bad after Better Call Saul, and I didn't realize how good a show that was. Breaking and, Bad? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, what oh, yeah. a great show. We're, we need more stuff like that, you know, to keep me occupied. Yeah. We, we, Marjorie and I binge watched the entire season prior to the final um, uh, episode being aired. And we got up right to the day and was able to watch the, you know, but the last, uh, all of them that I downloaded, I downloaded without commercials. And the problem yeah. was when we were watching the last one, we had to watch it with commercials and it was driving us crazy. Did anybody watch Prison Break? Yeah, I oh, years that ago. Show. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit a while, but I, I really it was good for that. the first couple of seasons, and then that it kind of got first, long in the tooth. That was the first show I ever binge watched, uh, and uh, I had the DVDs and just yeah went through them. And you told me that was Mickey Mouse. Yeah, well, Hot in Cleveland is a great show. show. Great show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it has it brings back a lot of old TV stars to be on it. You know, they and they brought together the whole Mary Tyler Moore crew in one episode, so it's, yeah. it was really, really a great show. And that Betty night. White it just had her chops together at at 88, 89, 90, 90 years old. By the time she hits ninety one, she's kind of slowing down a little bit on the show, but you know, nevertheless, it's terrific. Anyway, hey, listen, that's it. That's our 
theme playing. And uh, let me see here. Uh, it's it's time for us to go, but we'll do this whole thing again tomorrow, and we're going to keep doing it till we get it right. Um, Phil's going to be here tomorrow. Uh, Phil, uh, Phil's oh, promising oh. to be here tomorrow night. Phil's promising to be here tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, he he, uh, he likes it this way, don't you, Phil? I yeah. love it this way. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah because it, it, the whole center of attention is you, and that's how you like it to be. And well, that's why that's why we only do you one day a week. Anyway. Well, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, you like uh, the center of attention. You know, that's why you do this. Well, but I pay to make myself the center of attention. <laughs> this cost me about five, six hundred dollars a year to do. So, you know, give me a couple. Well, we'll, we'll run a benefit for as, you. As my, uh, are you my, missing my, any meals? My ex Yiddish wife used to say, Chep, it's a hook for me. Anyway, and to the lovely Who's and attractive uh, 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 <laughs> Brian and. I fell. And. Jeez. and, and <laughs> And, uh, and Charlie and Alan and Kevin, thank you so much, all of you, for being here. Give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, okay. We'll see you all later. Anyway, uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with The Intersection, and uh, I will be back again uh, tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, if you haven't done so already, you know, go out and get yourself vaccinated, okay? And if not, wear a mask. And if you don't wear a mask, mask stay the fuck away from me. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>